بیندیس پریاس و پلی تنداتن و پرو بینده با ناریش چونی سیت و تخاله چی دیوید گاگو پرینده با ناریش چونی سیت و تخاله چی دیوید گاگو پرینده با So, what is that, or what was that huge nation they used to, as we have understood upon uh, uh, having got acquainted with the results of the uh, study uh, within the project between two barriers, what was that uh, nation that used to live all over the world, all over the world, uh, and uh, speak their uh, languages of the Kartvelian uh, language family. Logically, such a nation uh, could have and should have uh, had a name of its own. And uh, we have many uh, uh, versions. Uh, we have many names uh, that could be, uh, well, they, they, that we can uh, meet all over the ancient world. Like, for example, the, the root Basti I, I already talked, uh, told you about or Iberian people, the, the root Iber, that would be also something that you are going to meet all over the world. You, you can meet uh, the root Beri in, in many, many places, and it also uh, is a clear sign of the uh, Kartvelian nature of this, la of this land and of these people. Uh, Laz, uh, the root Laz, it can be met uh, in many places. But uh, I have a, suggest a better suggestion. I have a huge I'm going to tell you about a huge nation that uh, used to live uh, all over the world, that used to live, the, the presence of which coincides with the, uh, the, the mostly uh, dense uh, territory in terms of the uh, Kartvelian toponyms. Uh, that means that this nation used to speak uh, languages of, uh, some language of, uh, Kartvelian, uh, of the Kartvelian family. Uh, this uh, nation uh, was forgotten. Actually, this nation was erased from, from history. We almost had no uh, chances to resurrect it from, from the ashes, from the total oblivion, but uh, if not for the, uh, for the project between two barriers, who uh, has uh, recreated this, uh, this ancient nation, uh, which uh, is huge and uh, obviously is obviously we have uh, reason to call this uh, nation the most important uh, for the history of our civilization. Uh, to understand what we are talking about, we should uh, quickly uh, recall the uh, the reason why we should take uh, the starting ha or a. Uh, more famous as a um, definite article in many in many uh, toponyms, like we have, we have Anatolia, Anatolia, Apulia, Apulia, Mardi, Mardi, Aswan, Swanet, uh, Surya, Asu Syria, Syria, actually Surya, Surya, and many, many, many more, and. Uh, uh, Having stripped it of the uh, of this starting uh, morpheme, you are uh, uh, left with the real uh, root of your toponym, and you remember that we already talked about that the uh, play, uh, tr tribe of Halibs, which actually were Halubi, not Halibi, because you can see uh, it's spelled in Greek through uh, um, epsilon. And starting ha, that would be the Phoenician and not only Phoenician uh, definite article. So halibi or halubi are finally interpreted as the lubi. 
that would be, and they are, from the time of Homer, they are uh, in, um, associated strongly with the tribe of Halizoni, Halizoni, Alizoni, Alazoni, and finally we understand that that's actually the name of the toponym Lazona, place of Laz people, Laz people who live today, who speak Laz language, that is part of the Kartvenian language family. They live in Turkey today, and they are uh, well, roughly speaking, they are Georgians. So the Lu people are the last people. They are the same or very close. And they used to live in that part of Minor Asia as well. Later, we, uh, after we have similarly stripped the uh, toponym of Albania of its starting R, we are left with the root LB, which turned out to be LAB or LUB again. And we understand that uh, Albanians are, in fact, the same, the LUBI people, uh, both Albanians, uh, Albanians in, uh, on the Adriatic coast and uh, uh, non-existing already Albanians of Azerbaijan. And uh, one more uh, confirmation of this uh, hypothesis. Uh, the word alubali is uh, cherry, sour cherry, uh, which is a clear derivative from the root alub, uh, and it's a cherry that comes from uh, from Turkey. So now we understand that uh, the word lub is strongly associated with the uh, territory of Minor Asia, where ha lib ha lub people come from. Libya turns out to be Lubia because in Hebrew uh, Libyans means uh, would be Lubim, Lub root. Lebanon in Arabic language is Lubnan, which again again is a uh, Lub root we are uh, looking for, and we know we remember that both Libya and uh, Lebanon are quite uh, Kartvelian. Uh, parts of the world. Uh, Aleppo used to be Halibon, which used to be Halubon, the Lubona, land of, land of Lubs as well, land of last people. Crimean Alubka used to be Alubika, that would be the Lubika, like Lazika, Lubika, that would be land of Lub people as well. Slovenian Ljubljana used to be uh, known as Lubi, uh, still known as Ljubljana in Italian language. That would be uh, Ljubljani, uh, Kartvelian uh, adjective from the Lub uh, root. Lubet on the uh, Azure coast in uh, in France. That would be land of uh, Lub people from Kartvelian point of view. And Pliny place Salubi, uh, which is. Sa Lube, where Lubes live, uh, he places them exactly in the, in the same land. Liburni, or more exactly, Luburni, that would be, we already spoke about that, Lu, plural for Luburi, Luburi, that would be uh, adjectives uh, made out from uh, the same Lub uh, root, uh, that would be a, play, uh, a tribe that used to live in Croatia. In Spain, you will find quite a number of uh, interesting uh, uh, examples of the presence of this same root. That would be Livia, an uh, ex conclave in the in, 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 uh, on the territory of Spanish conclave on the territory of, Fran of France. That would be Libuca, which used to be Lubuca in Galicia. That would be the tribe of Lobeti, land of Lobi. Which may uh, we can interpret as land of Lubi in the in central uh, Spain on the map of uh, uh, Ptolemy, and you will find huge number of this uh, of, of toponyms, both ancient and still uh, existing, in Ukraine, uh, Poland, and even Germany. Those would be Lubny, Lubech, Lubar. Uh, Lublin, Lubeck, Lubechko, Lubartuf, etc. Many, many, many more. So we definitely used to have some uh, old nation that used to live all over those places and left all those toponyms. And those were last people, Kartvelian speaking last people, known also now as Lub people. The, exactly the same name of Lub 
is mentioned as a in the primary chronicle is mentioned as a uh, uh, tribe that used to live in the, in the territory of the modern Baltic Republic. So uh, both Lithuania and uh, Latvia used to be the place of Lub people. And we already know through the, the comparative analysis of Lithuanian uh, and Latvian uh, and Kartvelian languages, uh, we already know that uh, they were very, very uh, close uh, those languages in ancient times and that's the reason why the reason why because lub tribe lived also in those uh, lands too lub is what we know mis by mistake as livonia livonia never existed lubonia did and that's the uh, confirmation of that livonia spelled through y that should have been lubonia not livonia uh, the uh, the meaning of the uh, word lub or lubi lube from the Kartvelian point of view is very very interesting. First of all, in the Migrelian language, the word lube means uh, the same as ube, and both they both mean uh, bosom, something which is uh, close to your heart. While in uh, Latin language, the word liberar used to be spelled through y, through y, that would be luberar, to get free. Uh, lubov, which is love in uh, Russian language, is well, consists of the same, uh, contains the same root uh, lub, and love actually uh, is a variation of it, so uh, we may uh, assume that uh, the nature of that uh, uh, mysterious uh, Lub nation so that used to live all over the ancient world and speak Kartvelian languages there, the, uh, the nature of what was very, very uh, positive. And by the way, that same Lub nation, through its representatives in Lubnan or the Nana or Ebernari or Halilea, uh, brought us the religion known as. Uh, Christian religion, which is unbelievably and extremely popular, namely in the country of Georgia. And uh, the final story would be a, a story about the uh, correspondence between uh, correspondence of uh, uh, both ancient and uh, modern uh, world's toponyms to the roots in uh, really existing Georgian surnames. First of all, uh, the ancient maps of Ptolemy, uh, which contains toponyms mostly extinct uh, as of today, uh, all those uh, toponyms are found in the uh, in the modern, uh, re really existing Georgian uh, surnames ending with Shwili or Dze. The, uh, here you can see uh, such a list of toponyms from uh, the maps of Ptolemy of uh, Minor Asia, uh, ancient Al Albania and Major Armenia. Or ancient Spain and ancient Italy. Ancient Greece, Ancient Europe, Ancient Africa, Ancient Middle East. You can press the pause but button to uh, see it in details. Ancient Arabia, Ancient uh, Iran and Ancient India. Huge, hundreds if not thousands of toponyms uh, that find themselves at the roots of really existing uh, Georgian uh, surnames, sometimes totally inexplicably. Uh, today, India, for example, India and Pakistan have this number of uh, local toponyms. Mo uh, f uh, most of them are name of villages that uh, can be found in. Uh, so th those are no, not uh, toponyms from the um, uh, map of Ptolemy. There's a uh, toponym from today's maps. India and Pakistan, Africa. So you can add either Shwili or Z to any of those uh, toponyms and you will definitely end up having a really existing Georgian surname. 
that Altuna, that would be Altuna Shvili, Babela Babeladze or Babela Shvili, Zakala Zakala Shvili, uh, Madzamana Madzamana Shvili, etc. So all have been checked, they do exist. Th those are toponyms from Asia and from Europe. And more uh, toponyms from various parts of the world that yield quite a number of uh, instances of their presence as uh, the roots of the Georgian surnames. Also, you can, uh, uh, that would be interesting to know that some existing Spanish and Italian surnames can be interpreted only, they all start with sa prefix. They don't know that the, pref, the sa is prefix here, but we do because we uh, now uh, look at uh, words like that from the Cartesian point of view. And we know that in Cartesian language, sa is a fundamental uh, toponymic prefix. And that's the reason why the toponyms uh, turn out to be uh, Spanish and Italian uh, surnames later. So, Sachote would be land of Choti, Choti being peas. Salerno would be land of Alerdi, would be, that would be fresh uh, grass. Sakiro, that would be land of Akira, uh, land of pumpkin. Sazerce, that would be land of Zercho, land of uh, kind of a grass. Uh, Salahano would be land of Lahana, uh, that's Spanish uh, surname, Salahano. Land of Lahana, place of uh, uh, cabbage. Sanarde, that would be uh, place of lavender, because Nardi is lavender in uh, Georgian language. Sasele would be land of Sele, uh, land of flax. Sasoko would be land of uh, Soko, that would be land of mushrooms. Saburna, that would be land of Burna, that would be land of mosquitoes. Sabrango, that would be land of Brangi, a uh, place of uh, bears. And Sanadro, land of Nadiri, place of uh, the beasts or animals for hunting. So you, can, you have a, no chance to ever even approach to uh, the etymology of surnames like that unless you keep in mind that they might have Cartvelian origin. They do have it, and uh, now you know it. And finally, uh, almost all the Megrelian surnames, trademark Megrelian surnames ending with Awa, as well as, as Ia or Ua, have their twins in Ukrainian language, all ending with Enko. That's a, the most f popular Ukrainian uh, surname ending. Added to this exactly to the same root, like Kirtava, Kirtenko, Kilanava, Kilanenko, Kveselava, Kveselenko, Cheminava, Cheminenko, Tsitsava, Tsitsenko, Marshava, Marshenko, Babilwa, Babilenko, uh, all both Ukrainian and uh, Migrantian uh, surnames are really existing. You can check it yourselves. Kvartsenko Kvartskava, Gurdzenko Gurdzia, Darchenko Darchia, Jaburenko Jaburia, Leženko Lezhava, Berulenko Berulava, Galdenko Galdava, Kukulenko Kukulava. In all those cases, we clearly understand that, we, we Ukrainians, we clearly understand that uh, we don't have explanation for those uh, roots. The explanation, uh, you, you can find explanation only in Kartvelian family. So they are not interpreted from the Ukrainian point of view, but they are I interpreted from the Migrelian point of view. So they were borrowed, the roots were borrowed into Ukraine from uh, Migrelian people. So thank you for, for, your, for your attention. Uh, now you know in all details why, uh, why uh, all the, uh, almost all the European languages, the whole so-called Indo-European family, in fact, uh, has uh, Kartvelian family, Kartvelian uh, family languages as, uh, as the root, as the source. And in fact, the whole Indo-European family can be 
uh, derivation uh, from, from the Cartellian family. So actually, you also now know that we have very, very few, if any, uh, reasons to consider uh, Indo European family a family, or reasons to even to talk about it, to, spe to dedicate some time uh, to studying that family. So it's not interesting. What is interesting, it is uh, it, it, it's what, what, where the uh, Indo European family comes from. It comes from the Cartellian family. Uh, also, you know that uh, all the ancient world used to speak uh, Cartellian uh, family languages, uh, from Portugal to India and from Estonia to Congo. And also, you can you you now know that uh, Pacific uh, region, in particular New Zealand, unexpectedly and inexplicably uh, turned out to have uh, more than a significant number of uh, correspondences with the Cartvelan family, and you know now that uh, all the South America and quite a big part of North America are overwhelmed with the uh, toponyms and uh, words from local languages, local dialects of Spanish language in particular, uh, of, uh, of clear Kartvelian uh, origin, uh, having uh, roots all in the Kartvelian uh, family of languages. So you now know all that, th you know that thanks to the uh, project called uh, Between Two Barriers, which uh, all, despite uh, being about five years old, uh, is only in the uh, first uh, phase of its uh, development. Uh, we are going to grow. Now we uh, in invite every, ev everyone who can be interested in uh, doing that uh, together with us. Uh, we invite you to uh, do that jointly. Uh, we'll appreciate any uh, any help, any collaboration. We are going to go with that project uh, all over the world to uh, to present it uh, all over. Any uh, questions, comments, even criticism are welcome. Just once again, criticisms should be respectful and argumented. Otherwise, uh, uh, it won't be. Uh, it will be ignored. So uh, once again, thank you, and uh, don't forget about the beautiful. Oh, don't don't forget now that the the most uh, precious wor place on earth uh, is the country of Georgia, which is turns out to be the most important for the for the civilization, for the history, for the linguistic, for anything. Uh, if you are if you have no idea, no knowledge about Georgian language or Kartvelian uh, languages, you cannot, sorry to say that, but you cannot uh, consider yourself a linguist or even you cannot consider yourself a historian. So uh, all of you who wants to, uh, to do something serious in that field and, and will need to travel to that beautiful country. The country is really beautiful, the country is unique, the country is actually a uh, like a window to the ancient uh, times, three, four uh, millennium uh, years ago, and uh, believe me, you will not regret about visiting that country. You will find a lot of unbelievable stuff there. Thank you. Bindis periasopeli tanda tanu probinde ba. Nari shweni si totsale chiti vid gawu prinde ba. Nari shweni si totsale chiti vid gawu prinde ba.